Hi, my name is Peter Vogel, and today we're going to learn how to hold the pick. This is a beginner level guitar lesson and will help you establish a good technique foundation for the right hand. If you're not already there, remember to visit us at FreeGuitarVideos.com where you'll find thousands of video lessons to help you become a much better guitar player. Now let's take a look at how I suggest to hold a pick. Keep in mind, there are many ideas about holding the pick out there. Each different way to hold a pick will cause you to use different right hand playing techniques. Some are definitely better than others. I'm not saying you have to adopt my technique, but it's pretty standard and will allow you quick success. Okay, so when I'm holding onto a pick, I'm holding on the pick with just my thumb and my index finger. I'm not using any of these. I'm using thumb and index. That way these will be free for other playing things later. Because we might want to use those for finger picking later. We can use them for all sorts of things. I'm just going to hold onto it with thumb and the index finger. That's rather than getting used to holding it with three fingers or middle fingers or anything like that. We want to leave those available. So when I'm holding the pick, it's thumb and index finger, and the pick I've got about halfway in, and if you'll notice, it is sitting on this first digit right there of my index finger. So that's, that's where I'm holding the pick. Thumb and index finger sitting on that first joint of my index finger, and I'm kind of pressing in there, and I've got a good amount of pick coming out. It's not right at the edge, because that doesn't leave me any room for error. I've got to get a little bit of pick out of there at least. I'm usually about here. Okay, so this is a different angle showing how I'm holding the pick. Notice it's just again the index finger and notice that index finger is not pointed at the guitar but it's pointed more towards my right shoulder or more towards the saddle and bridge of the guitar. That's keeping it out of the way when I strum because when I strum I don't want that index finger hitting the strings along with the pick. That's why you see this much pick out of the hand, right? And that's why you see the index finger curved around a little bit. So this is how we want to hold the pick. At least this is my technique for holding it. Leave yourself from room for error so you're not right at the end like this. And if you get too far out, it gets really unwieldy. So about halfway in, index finger's curved in, and there we go. Let's take a look at a basic strum motion. So when I'm strumming, when I'm hitting strings, when I'm playing along, my right arm is moving up and down from my elbow. My elbow is where the things are going. It's not all wrist. It's not like this. It's the elbow up and down. And then my hand is just totally relaxed. What's going to happen because of that hand is relaxed is I'm going to get a little bit of rotation in here. It's going to be kind of like this motion, but I'm not forcing it it's because there's weight at the end of this arm and the way it's built it's going to rotate so I want a little bit of rotation in there it's this motion but I'm not doing that much of it it's just a little bit of it just relaxing the hand and letting it happen naturally if you find when you're strumming that you're stiff and it's not getting any rotation you may have to try to relax and then put some rotation in at first just manually make yourself do it and then when you get used to that feeling of relaxation and doing it you won't have to think about it but it really should be done just from relaxation at the end of the arm so this is my strumming motion okay so my strumming motion notice a little bit of rotation going on notice it's happening from the elbow down and notice I have no fingers on the guitar. I don't have anything stopping this motion. I'm not resting back here. It's not like this. Don't have any of that going on. Everything's free to move. Free to move up and down. And I'm going to use this sort of approach even when I'm playing scales or individual notes. I want freedom of motion with my right arm, hand, pick, and a little bit of rotation happening. Hopefully, that will get you started with your right hand technique. Keep practicing and visit us at FreeGuitarVideos.com where we have many, many lessons waiting for you and more being filmed all the time. My name is Peter Vogel and I will see you again soon.